こんにちは、スイス。今回はオンライン英会話キャンブリーの先生と監視についてお話を簡単にしてみました。で監視っていうのは、あと、ザですよね。この二つの使い分けなんですけれども、このあとザっていうのはもう非常に難しい領域で、英語学習において一番難しいと言っても過言ではない領域なんじゃないかなっていうふうに思っていますが、このあとザの使い分けで、私がいつも迷う場面っていうのがあって、それがアクセント、いわゆるアクセントっていうこの単語と一緒に使うときなんですねで。皆さん、アメリカアクセントって英語で何て言いますかはい。で、これなんですけれども、まあ、アメリカアクセント自体はアメリカンアクセントっていうふうに言うと思うんですけれども、まあ、日本語でもアメリカンアクセントなのかなまあ、それはいいとして。で、その前の漢詞の部分ですよね。これがね、いつも迷うんですよね。An American accent なのか、The American accent なのか、A British accent なのか、The British accent なのか、どっちなんだろうっていうふうにいつも迷ってしまいます。で、皆さんはどっちを使ってますかで、私は結構どっちも聞くような気がして、どっちでもいいのかななんて思ってたんですけれども、ちょっと今回はそれについてお話をしてみましたので、ぜひ動画ご覧ください。で今回のスクリプトですね、公式 LINE でもダウンロードできるようになってますので、こちらのキーワードを入れて、もしスクリプト欲しい方はですね、ダウンロードして一緒に合わせて勉強してみてください。それでは動画見ていきましょう。どうぞ。My question is, which article should I use when I use the word accent? So for example, should I say an American accent or the American accent? Or you have the American accent or you have an American accent? Yeah, so I believe that、um, the、um, American accent is used to refer to the understanding that this is considered a typical accent or example of the accent.、Um, however, you might use an、uh, in a different case, but that could be deemed a bit misleading as it might imply that there are multiple American accents. So, in this case, an is like a specific version of an accent that recognizes that there are variations. For example,、um, let's say when somebody states you have an American accent, they are creating an emphasis on a specific version of this accent.、Um, but in other cases where you refer to an individual, it might be more appropriate to use an. If I give these examples,、uh, I want to study the American accent.、Uh, that refers to the kind of general concept of it. And if we said he speaks with an American accent, that makes more sense in this case because it describes the specific traits of the accent. So basically, you're saying that when you're referring to the accent as a concept, yes, yeah you should use the. The, yes. Whereas when you are Talking about an accent of a person、yes. or an individual, like in a specific case,、mm. you should be using an because, in that case, you are talking about the accent of the person、yes. rather than the accent in general, like as general, a concept. Yeah, we are referring to the whole thing. Yeah. But, Adam, you have a British accent. A Briti- yes, I've got a、But、British accent. You don't accent. have a British accent. Yes. Yeah, that's it. So,、mm. it, yeah, this is, this is the sort of examples of the variations there.、Um, I, guess, I guess because I have RP accent. So, I, I think that it's, it's the, the British accent in this case, I think, refers to it quite well to kind of sum up this、uh, situation. I think, yeah. So, we can apply this knowledge probably、mm. to the other similar cases. So, for example, you said the word RP, right?、Mm. Yes, yeah. So you'd say, I want to study the RP or I want to learn the RP,、mm. right? Yeah. So,、um, They're obviously very closely linked. That's the, that's the situation between these two things. So. so, for example, if I come across someone who speaks with an Osaka accent, accent yeah. I, I should be saying that, oh, you have an. Osaka accent. accent. Yes. Correct. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Why do you speak with, with 
within a Osaka dialect or yeah. It's not the, but it's a. Uh, right. Yeah. Because it's yes. the accent of the person, not really the general yeah. concept. Crystal clear, perfect. Brilliant, brilliant. I'd never actually thought about it, but now like it's all coming together. Well, it's it's not something that people talk about very often. I think this is a quite unusual subject, so it is interesting to hear um, mm. this kind of dissected, really, like this. So yeah, yeah, it's beautiful. I like it. <laughs> nice. <laughs>